this video, I'm going to show you an interesting way to factor this quadratic right here. And to help us out, there's the answer. And then I'll prove why this technique works. So you start off with 6x squared minus 7x minus 20. You multiply those two numbers. The coefficient of x squared becomes 1, or just x squared. 7x stays the same, but the constant is going to be 6 times 20, which is 120. Now, like always, you want, well, in this case, like always, you want to find two numbers to factor this. You want to find two numbers that multiply out to negative 120 and add up to negative 7. And looks to me like 15 and 8 will do this. So 8 minus 15 and 8 plus 8. That actually equals this equation. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the number 6 and divide the, co the constants by 6 and then reduce it. 3 goes into both of those numbers. 5 and 2 times. 2 goes into both of those numbers. 4 and 3 times. Last step multiply this equation by 2 and you'll get 2x minus 5. Multiply this equation by 3 and you'll get 3x plus 4. This is exactly what I said it would be. Let's try one more then we'll go on to the proof. If you have 2x minus 7 you multiply this by 3x plus 5, you'll get 6x squared minus 11x minus 35. So we're going to try to factor this, and we actually have the answer, but let's make believe we don't. So if you have 6x squared, let me just make sure I didn't make a mistake, 10 minus 21. Okay, if you have this, what you do is, is you ignore the 6 for the coefficient of x squared, and then for the constant you multiply. Well, that's the same as 70 times 3, which I know. So now, I want to factor this. x followed by a number, or plus, well, as I always say it, x followed by a number, times x followed by a number. The two numbers should multiply out to negative 210, add up to 11. Well, 21 and 10, they multiply out to 210, and the difference is 11. So, negative 11. So how about we do that? The, these two numbers, they multiply out to negative 210, and they add up to negative 11. So, minus 21 and plus 10. Then we divide by the coefficient of x squared from the beginning problem that we're trying to factor. But we only divide the constant by this. And then we reduce. Looks to me like... 7 halves, and then x plus 5 thirds. Now multiply the first parenthesis by 2, and what's in the second by 3. I get 2x minus 7 times 3x plus 5. But that's exactly what I have there. Okay, now let's prove why it works. Suppose you have ax plus b, and you multiply it by cx plus d, you will get acx squared, that's from there, and you would get plus adx's, 
and then you'll have b c more x's to add and the constant will not be what i just did i apologize oops the constant will be b times d plus b d so the way we factor this so now ignore that we have this this is the problem factor it well i'm saying if you just take x squared plus the coefficient of x times x plus that product a c let me say a d times b c okay now to factor this line since it's x squared it's going to be x followed by a number times x followed by a number the two numbers should multiply out to a d b c and they should add up to that well that's pretty simple if i take a d and b c if i add them yep i get that and if I multiply them, yep, I get this. So it's x plus AD, x plus BC. And then I divide the constant by AC, the constants, by A over C. A over C. The A's cancel here. The B's, sorry, the C's cancel there. So I have x plus D over c times x plus b over a multiply this by c you get cx plus d multiply what's in here by a you get ax plus b and this here equals that and yep i am right that's exactly what we were supposed to get. So this is another way of factoring trinomials. Notice, you know, I'm really big in writing equal signs. The only equal sign I really have is from here to here. It, what's in the box above does not equal that. I guess this is equal after I divide by AC, and it certainly doesn't equal the last line. Generally looking at it, nothing really follows except it's, we proved that it, it works. This method does work. Okay, I hope you like this video. It's really cool, I think. If you like mathematical proofs, subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.